to go. Hey, this is Montezuma's Revenge. Game for the Atari 8-bit, as you can probably tell from looking at the graphics. If you've seen any of the other streams that I've done, I tend to do that system a lot. Uh, everything in this game is a one-hit kill. Just to give you that right off the top. Except for the keys and the treasures, of course. It's kind of a side-scrolling labyrinth. And it's set up like a stacked pyramid, so we have the one room at the top that we started in. We've got the three rooms here on this level. That let me that thing lets me walk through enemies. And then as we get to this level, uh, it's gonna have five rooms across and it just keeps going down like that. The thing that makes some of this uh depending on the way that you play games can either make it more challenging or less. Uh, it does not matter how hard you hit the button, you're going to jump the same length regardless. Right. That white thing that I grabbed that we used to call the candle when I was younger, because we didn't know any better, it's actually a sword. You might have gotten that just by looking at it. Maybe you're brighter than me. But what the sword does is it lets you kill an enemy without without dying. Because usually when you touch an enemy, you'll die, but the enemy will die too. And you see I have five items uh, already, which is my maximum, so I can't pick up anything. Including these jewels, which don't really count as items because they just add to the score. But I guess the way that they programmed it was such... To uh, hold up, sorry. Try to concentrate here on the timing. It's not really that hard, but can be somewhat problematic if you're not paying too much attention. But anyway, yeah. Usually you'll touch an enemy and they'll die, and you'll die. But if you have the sword, then you use the sword to kill the enemy, obviously. Yes, Foch, this game is about getting diarrhea. Um, that really loud tone just meant that I just got a new life. Uh, yeah, can't you tell that this is obviously about gastric distress? It does look like he's wearing no pants. Hmm. Alright. I don't remember which way to go here. That's right. Now there's going to be some dark rooms that we come up across uh, where you can see the enemies, but and sometimes the fire, but nothing else. And in the dungeon somewhere, there will be a torch that I'll have to find. But really, especially on this first level, you don't necessarily need the torch to be able to get through it. Oh, hey, Phoenix. Yeah, it's really weird seeing your name in here. Considering I'm usually uh, yeah. sitting right next to you. Yeah, those hats down there tell me how many lives I have left. So far, I've been doing all right. I haven't lost one yet, but that is subject to change pretty rapidly, especially once I get to. Oh, see, that's a door. I don't have a red key, so I can't go through it. And the dog is going nuts. Yeah, as a kid, this was a very exciting game to watch, if not to play. I was pretty lousy at it as a kid. I think I was able to get to uh, pass those four doors 
that very up. Oh yeah, I remember this. What you saw me go through earlier before we got to the pink room. Ugh. The reason I couldn't go further is because there's a locked door that way, uh, in the middle of that disappearing bridge. What color is it? I don't know. I'll just have to get some keys and hope for the best. Yeah, you can see how much I've played this game over the years that I don't even need to think about what's in which dark room. And I got another extra man, good. Oh yeah, I think that's where I came from. Uh, no, no, the spiders just keep on living through all that. Why, did it look like one of them died? Oh, I can't. It's not a rope, I can't jump up. That's a one-way ladder. You might have seen me run into a spider while I had a sword. That might have been what it was. Okay, it was a silver key. Ah, we've reached the penultimate room. Some nasty time in here. Getting it isn't the problem, it's coming back. You just kinda gotta luck out, I think. And I didn't. So there we go, first death. He kinda disintegrates whenever he touches the chain. We've unlocked that door. Alright, everybody, brace yourself. We're about to uh, delve into the treasure depths of this temple here. It's a fantastic, wonderful voyage into 1984's idea of an ending. Oh, it's beautiful. The music and all these colors. I just... Oh. And, oh. That's... yeah. Okay, so now we're into level two which is more of the same except that some of the enemies are going to be a little faster. Not all of them. Uh, some of the rooms are going to be a different color. And I think they do actually rearrange uh, the order of some of the rooms. Um, but for the most part it's kind of the same dungeon uh, with more dark rooms. Yeah, that wall wasn't there before. Yeah, this is different. Oh no. Well, yeah, we you know we are looking into an Aztec temple. You know, we are kind of in Central America. Wouldn't be the '80s without something horribly stereotypical, right? Why not have a Cucaracha play whenever you pick up something? Yeah, I'm basically just going to see how far I can get before I lose all my lives. Oh, okay, I can't believe I didn't die there. Usually if you fall, it, it doesn't take much of a height to fall from, to squash. You sort of fall on your head and kick your legs around for a while. They got some pretty entertaining deaths. Um, I'm sure that you'll see most of them before this is done. So yeah, you don't just disintegrate. I think so. There'd be much up there. Ah. Uh. No, that was going to happen eventually. Oh, 
my red keys. Hmm. Ah, we reach the dark. I want to say the torch is this way, and I would, oh well. Wanting to collect an item, I probably shouldn't have maxed out my items. If it is this way, well, I could always kill one of these guys. Use the sword. Uh, which way? Left or right? If it takes a noisy drink of beer. Although, really, this microphone sucks so much, I don't know if you could even hear that. Um... I think my new microphone is supposed to be coming in uh, Thursday. So we'll have. Oh, there's the torch. And. Oh, well, good. Maybe it's not such a bad microphone after all. I'm used to the torch being in a much more difficult room with all these tiny little ledges. Maybe we'll see it if I get there in the next level. Yeah, this is a lot better than walking around in the darkness. Yeah, Sadie's going crazy. You know, she was... Completely quiet all day until I start doing this. <laughs> ah, fat lot of good that does. Oh boy. I'm gonna start from the right, ain't I? Yep. Yeah, this, this area is kind of a trap, especially if you have all the items collected, the whole item box full. That was about the worst case scenario for that room. I thought he might come my way, that's why I jumped. This will be a... Uh, Pretty quick stream, I think. Um, down to the last man. Yep, and that's that.